So spring's just around the corner and you are starting to have weeds showing up in your lawn. If you've got warm season grass like Bermuda, Zoysia, perhaps even St. Augustine, you likely have poa and some other broadleaves. And if you have cool season grass, you might be dealing with, with poa in your lawn or, or other weeds as well. So I've been getting a lot of emails from viewers here lately around strategies for getting rid of weeds in their lawn now that we're transitioning out of winter and into the springtime. So rather than answer the same question over and over and over again via email, I figured I'll make a short video and give you my thoughts on how to best control weeds in your lawn uh, this spring. So let's get into it. So for warm season grass, uh, a great herbicide combination that I am a huge fan of are two products. The first is called Celsius, which is a broadleaf herbicide, and then the other is Certainty, which is great for killing sedges and poannua. So Celsius, this is your, your broadleaf and like your catch-all. This is a great uh, foundational herbicide for warm season turf. And then Certainty is a bit more specialized in that this will do sedges. Um, all sedges as well as poannua. So if you are one of these people that, you know, perhaps you didn't do your pre-emergent application last fall, or you're a little bit late or just didn't work as well as you would have liked, and you're trying to get rid of poa and other broadleafs in your lawn now and also throughout the summer, this combination is what I would say to go with, Celsius and Certainty. For best results, you're going to want to use a surfactant. Uh, this is the high yield spreader sticker. I like to mix this. A couple ounces of this goes in the tank along with, um, with uh, the Certainty and the Celsius, and it helps these herbicides stick to the leaf of the plant and helps you get a better result. So if you're gonna go with uh, post-emergent herbicides, I highly recommend also using surfactant uh, along with it. Whenever you go to the description of these videos that I'll have here at the, at the bottom of this, uh, this video, the product description will have a video that shows how I like to use them. There's a couple different ways of, of doing it. The only um, modification I would make to what you see in that video is um, the certainty rate that I give in that is for really for sedges. And that was based on, on the fact that the video was shot in the summertime. If you are using certainty to take care of poannua in your lawn, you're gonna to wanna to go up on the rate. So whereas in that video, you're gonna see uh, me adding three small scoops of, of certainty um, into the tank, because certainty comes with a, um, a spoon, you've got a small end, you've got a small end and a large end. So what you'd wanna do if you're trying to target poannua is a large scoop, one large scoop, with two gallons of water is the rate that you're gonna to wanna to go with for targeting POA. So just that's the one modification I would say that you wanna make based um, in comparison to what's in uh, the video that's in the product description for these. So that takes care of the warm season, folks. Celsius, Certainty, Surfactant. If you're want plus 10 points, also get some marker dye because it's gonna allow you to be able to see where you sprayed as well. So we've got warm season covered. All right, so for you cool season guys, if you're dealing with, um, with again, uh, weeds in your lawn, poa in your lawn, um, a good option for that is tenacity. So tenacity is, is really a specialized herbicide in the sense that it can behave as, it's really a post-emergent herbicide, but if you water it in, you get some pre-emergent um, um, products out, or benefits out of it as well. So if you're doing a seeding project, you wanna clean up weeds and prevent weeds from growing um, for two to three weeks, uh, tenacity can be used for that. But in, in the purpose of this video, we're talking about killing weeds, so for post-emergent. So just like whenever we're dealing with, um, with Celsius and Certainty, whenever you're using tenacity for best results, you're going to want to use a surfactant along with it. Again, a high yield spreader sticker, you're gonna to wanna to use a couple ounces of this along with tenacity and that's gonna give you, um, you know, the best result as far as controlling uh, POA and other and other weeds at this target. I think Tenacity targets something or just under 50 weeds, 45, 46 weeds, I think are what are, what are on, uh, on the label for this. The one thing to be um, cognizant of if you use Tenacity is that it's going to, um, like any nearby grass that it gets on, it can discolor it temporarily. So that's just one thing to keep in mind. It's not gonna kill your, your cool season turf. So if, you got, if you're spraying this on, um, on rye grass, Kentucky bluegrass, fescue, um, centipede, you can use some centipede. Uh, just, just, just be prepared for a little bit of discoloration in the area uh, that you that you spray a tenacity on. Again, so, so tenacity, surfactant, and then marker dye, so you can see where you sprayed. If you are dealing with sedges in your lawn, kind of, kind of hard to believe that you'd be dealing with that this time of year. But if you live, you know, in Florida or somewhere where you, where sedges are, are more of a thing, then um, instead of certainty, which is for warm season turf only, for cool season lawns, you're going to want to go with sedge hammer. So you can combine tenacity and sedge hammer together if you if you're dealing with sedges in your lawn as well. It's a good product. Um, it's it's a, it's and it's safe for both warm and cool season grass. So if you if you need the ability to control sedges, you can mix some sedge hammer in with tenacity 
and uh, that will produce a, a great result. Again, a bit of marker down to see where you sprayed and um, you'll be good to go. You do not need to water any of this in, so that's a good point. This is a question that I've gotten as well. If you're spraying uh, Celsius, um, Celsius and certainty on warm season turf or tenacity and sedge hammer on cool season turf, you do not need to water them in. They are designed to be foliar absorbed. So by that, you can think of like the, the foliar, the leaf of the, of the weed is almost like your skin. Like when you put a lotion on your skin, you put a lotion on, you just let it dry, right? That's how you get the benefits of it. You don't put a lotion on and then like go and wash your hands and wash it off. So it's a similar thing with, with um, post-emergent herbicides. These types of post-emergent herbicides, you spray them on, you um, allow them to dry, and then they will begin to kill the plant. Um, you know, depending on the temperature of where you are, figure two weeks before you'll start seeing the plant begin di um, yellowing off and dying, and then you'll be good to go. Last tip I have for you is around the spray tips. So for all these, whether you're using um, cool season, whether you're using Celsius and Certainty for warm season, or Tenacity and Sedgehammer for cool season, you're gonna wanna use a proper spray tip. So this is the Foliar tip, one from T-Jet. It produces a fine droplet size. It's gonna allow the herbicide to come cover the leaf of the plant a bit better to help you get a better result. And then outside of that, it's just patience, right? Just patience and away you go. So hope you guys found this helpful. I want to do a quick uh, PSA because again, I'm getting like inundated with emails around, hey, how do I get rid of weeds in my lawn? And I figure versus answering the same question over and over on email, I would just produce a short video telling you my thoughts of how I would go about doing it. Hope you guys find this helpful. If you need anything else, don't hesitate to reach out. I really appreciate you guys watching the content. 2023 is going to be a great season and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.